Yes, 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 it's me. Yeah, man. So, before we start, I'm a Christian and um, we have addressed certain issues that is happening to Jamaica, which is happening or uh, affecting Jamaica. Recently, they have the Grammy Award, yes, and a little, uh, you know, um, a Caucasian group win the Grammy Award. So, a lot of Jamaican artists are pissed off about it. So, we have to straight up this issue and we're going to understand what's the problem because when I don't understand the problem. And some of these young entertainers and also old entertainers are contributing to the decline of Jamaican economy by the songs that they put out. Yeah, holy power of that, so I'm explain all of that. So, this white group, I'm not to remember what them name, them, them win the Grammy. And, you know, what people have said, this not even sound like reggae music. Yeah, not, yeah, not even sound like reggae music. But at least I'm going to put out something. Notice what is happening to our young people, Shensi and Skillebing and all of them, they are putting, up, putting out songs that people cannot play at an international airport or in a shopping mall or such. Yes, that's how you sang the song and get popular. Some of them dancers sang, most of them can't play at a certain place. So people now hear about them and people are really interested in them. Okay? So that's the problem. That, that's one. When I, put out, when I put out a whole heap, but I'll be a violence and sex and and all sort of crazy stuff so that's a smaller market it's a very smaller market and it not really do so much for jamaica neither okay so we'll go back and see what bob marley do yeah we'll have to go back and see what bob marley done and others yeah and others that win the grammy the sort of music that, that them put out people accept it and it can be it can play in an airport a shopping mall and those stuff uh coffee coffee songs they can play in a in a Anywhere, you know, playing anywhere. You understand? But Moshe Sensi a song and Skilly Benga, he can't play anywhere. You understand? So, in order for us to win the Grammy, we have to put out good music that he can play anywhere. Yes. And notice, notice, notice what I said before that it, it affects our economy. So, I'll deal with that part also. We'll go back to Bob Marley and a couple of them other reggae artists where, where, where Make, make the world realize that there is a Jamaica. Because without reggae music, a lot of people throughout the world would know that Jamaica exists. So them man, they put Jamaica on the map. Yes. And because, of, and because Bob Marley music and those other people, music were popular and these white people get addicted to it. And they can play it around their kids and play it anywhere, whether them shopping mall, they're in their car, the a restaurant, anywhere. Guess what? After them hear the music, them get addicted to Bob Marley and all of these other people. That, 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 you know, that culture music. And guess what? After, after them hear these people and I know about Jamaica, guess what them do? They try to find out where these people come from. Yes, that's how the tourism sector get, you know, get some earnings also. By we putting out conscious songs that other people can hear it and then want to know where these people come from and visit our island and contribute to the, econo the e economical prosperity of Jamaica. So... That's why the Grammy Award, this is sending us a signal. Yeah? So we need to put out more volume of conscious music. Where Shensi and Skillebang and all of them are put out, that's a small market. So I'm saying to our young Jamaican artists, aspiring Jamaican artists, yeah? Yeah? There's a bigger market out there for cultural music. Bigger market, you have the whole of America, you have the whole of Europe, you have the whole of the world, Japan and all of these places Where reggae music has made an impact on Africa Yes, so it's a bigger, bigger market So this little dance hall thing is a smaller fraction And it's also damaging our um, tourism um, our tourism package in Jamaica Because when them hear all, them all sort of violence You check them want to come Right now if you go on the end Right now if you go up on the, 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 the a computer, the internet, and look at the trouble advice advise for Jamaica. Them say, no, no, too much violence at Jamaica. So, you hear me I say? Clean up the music. Do, do, a lot, do what Bob Marley do and, and, and Sean Paul and Shaggy and, and Coffee and all of them people. Eh? Do some clean music. Yeah, and for, for our young aspiring artists, don't follow them dance halls. Dance halls are small. They, they just, you get popular in Jamaica and one, one, one and two little places and that. You can't ever make no good money out of it. You understand? So let us clean up our music and put out large volumes of clean music. The more volume you put out is the more chance of we winning a Grammy. Okay? Yes, there's a lot of music going out by the younger artists, but they might glorify what, violence. 
You understand? I'll be a violent people I want to hear that. People want to hear music where them there and their kids can hear, sit down and listen to. And this is and this is what happened to Bob Marley music. And them still appear them the man dead and gone a long time. And some new people still are here and we say, what, where, where is that all this come from? And, and they say, Jamaica, oh gosh, I gotta go to I gotta go to Jamaica. You understand? At that we want, we don't want the foolishness because it's a destroy our country, that them little violent song they all, all, all of destroy our country. You understand? So that answer all on the question why these white people win. I'm glad because this is sent, sending a signal to us now, so we need to clean up our act. Clean up our act. Yeah, but that all the white people are winning because it knocks some sense in our head now. Knock some sense. Because we'll young artists go down and come up and follow Bob Marley and them and, and, and them just get turned off. Because people turn them off because them say, boy, all want your violence. No. That this try to make and nobody now want to hear it overseas. Only a small percentage of people. If you want to make money in music, do what Bob Marley and Coffee and, and them conscious people. Coffee, coffee music, you know, you know like a trend in she young. You know, it's, you just imagine some like a young people like she overseas hear it. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Everybody want to know where coffee come from too. Jump on a plane and come see the land where coffee come from. And, and that boosts up our economy through tourism. So that answers all the question. This is a wake up call. Clean up the, the, the reggae music. Clean it up. Conscious music. Yeah. And bless Jamaica. Okay? Curse and I curse Jamaica with all them type of music there. We want more tourists in the country. So clean up the, 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 this, this foolishness we want to have. And do more clean conscious songs like these people that get them Grammy before. Anyway, God bless.